which I very appreciate the Japanese Embassy here, and also the EHESS to provide me to the good opportunity to share the opinion. So let me start my presentation. This graph showing is a two type of the developing country groups. Uh, in the developing world, uh, there are the uh, two groups who have the distinctly different historical paths. Uh, blue line is showing as uh, developing uh, countries who mainly export to the natural resources, and this group is a fluctuated. Uh, this uh, graph is uh, made by the share of the global production. So the blue group is uh, fluctuated, and uh, uh, in a period of the resource price hike, it's uh, very attained 20% uh, in the global production. And that group uh, is uh, manufacturing uh, product exporters uh, among the developing countries. And this type of the, uh, developing countries uh, almost exclusively found is the East Asian region. Uh, but Mexico is, uh, is also the, this uh, uh, categorized this time. And uh, 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 2030, that uh, line groups is a manufacturing exporter to share as exceed is the blue groups I and mean, the natural resource exporters. And uh, uh, after the coming of this century, uh, global trade ship is transformed. And one of the uh, salient uh, feature is uh, a rapid expand is uh, inter-trade ship among the developing countries. Uh, we can see it's now, uh, a year over 2015, uh, trade ship among the developing countries attained to the 4.2 trillion dollars. It's uh, expand almost seven times compared to the 20 years ago. So this kind, this so 